do you network online? If you say no, you probably actually do and you just don't even realize you're doing it. I'll be honest, that was kind of me for a really long time. But networking online is a great way to keep in touch with people, to build new relationships, to lead gen and make sales. So let's talk about how to network online. Welcome to the Creating Opportunities Podcast. This is the place where we help smart, ambitious professionals build authentic relationships to create success in all areas of their lives. And I am your host, Cassandra. I am a trainer, a speaker, an iced coffee lover, and I wanna help you make deeper connections, both in real life and online. So of course we're all about relationships over here, and that includes online relationships, but this is where I wanna remind you, authentic networking is not one and done. Pitch slapping someone online is not networking. Leaving one comment with someone is not networking. Networking is relationship building, which means it happens over time. Same online as in person. So even in the online space, be authentic and recognize that this process is going to take time. You need to lead with care, right? What are we all about here? We lead with care, not value, not give, give, give. There's a whole other episode about that. I'll try and remember to put a link to it here and in the show notes. Start by caring about the other person and getting to know them, nurturing that relationship online, and then it can lead to a sale. So first things first, where do you find your people, right? You need to know where you wanna find your people to be able to network with them. This can be simple. This can be searching a hashtag on Instagram. This can be doing a search on LinkedIn based off a location or a title of a person that you wanna get to know better. You can start there. It's gonna give you a ton of results and the people you meet might not be as interested in, you know, conversing back and forth with you, but it is a place to start. But sometimes it's better to get a little more specific. So there are sometimes specific platforms that are either revolving around networking or revolving around a specific industry. I know in the tech industry, there are certain websites and platforms that are all around networking with other engineers or other people in startups, etc. There's also things that I'm starting to explore like Alignable, which are small business owners getting to know each other on that platform. So you might wanna search and see where people hang out that way. Another one I love to talk about all the time is industry associations. You know, I'm in the National Speaker Association, and if I reach out to another speaker on LinkedIn, they might, you know, message back and forth with me or accept my connection request, but if I go into the Speakers Association and find someone from their Facebook group or at least go on LinkedIn and say, hey, I saw you're in NSA, I'm in NSA, they're more likely to connect and chat with me. So use those associations to your advantage. Plus, this is where I think it's worthwhile to be a part of other online communities that are paid experiences. So I'm in Entrepreneistas, it's been really great. They have online networking Zooms once a month, and I join those, and then the people I meet on there, we tend to end up doing one-on-one -on -one Zooms as a next step to get to know each other better. There's free communities, or there's there's people I know who do free networking events as well to get people in the same room and chatting with each other. What I have found is that when you're in a paid community, the people in that community are more willing to start building those relationships. They're more willing to get on that one-on-one -on -one Zoom call than the person whose name you just searched, you found in a search result on LinkedIn. And then there are also groups. So Facebook groups, don't sleep on them. And LinkedIn is making a comeback with groups. So find groups that relate to your interests and start joining those groups. Next up, you need to engage. Now, here's where I say something really obvious, but don't overthink it. People tend to overthink this step. What do I say? How do I sound impressive? I don't know if I can reach out to that person. Don't overthink it. My second tip on this, schedule it. This is the step that people go, oh yeah, I wanna engage, I wanna network, but we don't put the time on our calendar to start doing it. So don't overthink it, but also schedule it, which is also kind of thinking about it. Now, what counts as engagement? Commenting counts, y'all. You know, commenting on someone's post, being part of a conversation in a group totally counts. Not everything needs to be a one-on-one -on -one message, right? Joining those Zoom calls that are part of a paid group, 
that counts. And then, of course, sending messages to people count. Following up with those people you met on those Zoom calls, that counts. All these different things are ways to engage, so be doing a number of them. I love getting in the DMs on Instagram and messaging even with people you know that I know. It's a way for us to keep in touch and keep building those relationships. Contribute by you know voting in someone's poll. All of this is part of networking. And honestly, from what I just said, you might notice that networking online is really a mixture of make new friends, but keep the old. So I recommend making this part of your schedule and giving yourself a routine or else you kind of look up at the end of the day and go, what did I do? It can feel really scattered. So that's my next tip to you. Create a daily routine. I honestly suggest creating a daily routine slash system to make sure you're kind of checking the boxes on different networking steps between keeping your old friends and old contacts alive and going and making some new ones at the same time. So just for example, your routine does not have to be mine, but I think it's always helpful when we see somebody's tangible routine to then kind of adopt for ourselves. So here's what I try and do. Do I hit each of these boxes every day? No, but it helps me kind of measure my day and see where I'm at. So here's my routine. Thank you emails to the day before, right? Anyone I met or did a Zoom with the day before, I sent them an email going like, hey, it was great meeting you. Then I follow up on any inquiries to work together. Then I catch up with current clients. And then I send five re-engagement messages to LinkedIn connections. Now, I'm not gonna get into what that is. That's one thing I coach my clients on, but it's my strategy to start getting back in touch with old connections. Then I try and leave two LinkedIn comments. If I can do more, great. But if I can do two, that's enough. And then I try and do at least one pitch or one nurture email to someone I eventually want to pitch. Now, those are the basics. I heard the other day that if you are a new business starting out, 80% of your day should be lead generation, which means networking, commenting, creating posts, engaging on groups. That's a lot. I know for some of you, you might not feel like you have that right now, or maybe in your corporate job, you're not doing that sort of thing at the moment, but that's just to give you some ideas of how much some people say you should be doing and then an idea of what I do at the bare minimum every day. And remember, all these things count because we're building these relationships so that if we have built that rapport, nurtured that relationship, now when the time is appropriate, we can invite them into a deeper conversation about our product, our service, or after we've cared about them, we've offered free resources. Maybe they're on our email list now. Maybe we've had a couple of conversations. Now is the time to sell, but we don't start off there. Really the key is to care first and put the emphasis on them. So figure out a couple of key places where you wanna plant your flag and network, and then set time on your calendar each day so that you actually sit down and do the networking. Get active, comment, post, send requests for Zoom calls, start having those one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls, invite someone local to coffee, right? Well, I guess that's not online, but it started online. Get in that habit by creating a routine and a system that you can use so you can make sure you're balancing those old relationships and making new ones. Now, if you need help reaching out to new people, I have a free connection messages guide. It is full of templates that you can copy and paste, steal for yourself to reach out to new people and old friends and new connection, all of it in a myriad of ways. You can grab that in the description box and the show notes, and then you can reach out without fear of connecting.